Hey everybody, welcome to Musicians Travel Hacks, where you can learn to make travel more fun and more comfortable so you can have a better time when you get to the gig. Thanks to everybody who watched my video on flying with an instrument on Southwest. I really appreciated all the comments and all the the, the thumbs ups is <laughs> thumbs ups is it really helps out the channel a lot and it's nice to know that people are watching uh, makes me want to make more videos uh, so been doing a lot of flying lately and I used to really really hate flying uh, I just dreaded it and I've learned a few things and acquired a few items that really help make it more fun and uh, really make it enjoyable now there's there's some things that are out of your control delays and weather and all that stuff um, but you can control how good of a time you have not just by which seat you purchase and how early you board and all that kind of stuff but by what you bring with you so I'm going to show you five items that I don't fly without uh, if I forget one of these items which I usually don't because I keep a checklist on Google Keep download Google Keep and keep a travel checklist um, so if I were to forget one of these items, I would be very, very sad and not have as good of a time flying. The first thing that I never fly without are my Bose noise-canceling headphones. These things are amazing. I first tried them. Uh, I was touring with Ned Luberecki. We were headed home from Camp Bluegrass, and uh, I had seen his headphones. He started telling me about them. We were sitting in an airport, and it was loud and busy in that airport. It, there was just a roar. Um, and I'm a person who really enjoys quiet, so uh, that, that really gets to me. So we're sitting there, and, uh, and I tried his headphones. I put them on, I hit the on switch, and just immediately it was so nice and peaceful. It was just wonderful. I ordered a set on the spot. I had a pair by the next day. Uh, so thank you, Ned Luberecki, um, for suggesting these to me. I've had them for a couple years now, and they still work great. Um, before you go buy some, make sure you understand what noise-canceling headphones actually do. Um, so noise-canceling headphones don't cut out everything. What they do is cut out the ambient noises like airplane engines and things like that. Um, these headphones also have a nice seal that do help cut out a lot of other noises, but if you're trying to get complete isolation, you need earplugs, not noise-canceling headphones. But what I like about these is they get rid of the roar of the plane that really fatigues my ears and just uh, wears me out. I feel so much more refreshed getting off a plane than I used to before I had these. Um, so uh, they, they can connect to your music, your iPad, whatever you want, and uh, they really work great. My favorite is to use a rain app. I think it's called Rain Rain, and uh, just listen to the rain while I, uh, while I fly or drive in the van. I'm not the one driving, by the way. Ned drives, um, so I'm riding in the van. I don't recommend that you block out your hearing while you're driving. Now, if you don't want something as bulky as these headphones, they can be pretty bulky. It's worth it to me. Um, they come in this case, by the way. It just sits in there like that. Um, if you want something that's not as bulky, and weighs a little less. Another great option is the Bose noise canceling earbuds. The Bose noise canceling earbuds are tangled at the moment. <laughs> um, they're nearly as good. Uh, so they just look like this and you've got the earbuds. They fit pretty well. They're universal fit and they fit me really well. Um, you've got a little mic if you want to use them to talk on the phone and you can clip it to your shirt so that it's not tugging on you. I think that's a really great feature. Um, it also has listening mode, so it can actually, it mics in outside noise for when you want to hear people talking to you. Um, so if I'm going to go take a walk or something like that, I'll often use these and turn on the listening mode. That way if there's a car horn beep in or something like that, I, I know what's going on. I don't get run over. Uh, so they just plug in on this end. You just attach your dongle and plug it into your phone. And uh, these work really well. They are not quite as good for an airplane ride as the Bose noise canceling headphones. It just, it's hard to beat a set of cans. The, the in-ears just aren't quite as good, but they are really, really portable. They come in this little case and it doesn't weigh a lot, doesn't take up much space. It's a really good option. Now there are other brands that make noise canceling products and, and they're fine. I've tried a number of them. I've just never tried something that I liked as well as the Bose. So if you're shopping, I think you should really consider spending the extra money to get the bows. They've lasted me a long time and they sound really good. Now to go with all the uh, headphones and earbuds, 
Another thing that I never leave at home when I travel is a tablet. I prefer the iPad and always make sure you download your TV shows. So I like to use Netflix and uh, just download all the TV shows that I'm going to watch. Um, this just makes traveling more fun for me. I enjoy just kind of tuning out and watching a TV show for a while on a plane uh, or in a van. I like to read books sometimes too. It can be harder because I like to read books with a highlighter and planes and vans bounce you around. So I kind of tend to do the reading time at home or, or when I'm not in a moving vehicle. Um, so the iPad case I'm using here I think is really helpful. It's made by Targus. And what I like about it is that... Uh, as you may have noticed, there's not a lot of planes with seatback entertainment, and some of them, they're even taking the seatback entertainment out. Um, but a lot of them have a pocket right up there on the top of the seat, and this can hook into it and actually holds the iPad up to where it looks just like seatback entertainment. And that's nice. I don't have to have to put it on my tray table or my knee. I don't have to lean down to see it. I can just look up at it. So a case like this is a really helpful feature. And uh, just on your Google Keep travel list, make sure to, to put download shows and actually do that before you go to the airport. Because a lot of times, even if you have lounge access, uh, the Wi-Fi just isn't fast enough to download some shows in a hurry. So do that beforehand. You're going to have a better time. So always bring my iPad. It's a lot of fun and uh, just, just makes the flight go faster for me. Now, with all these devices, it's important not to run out of battery, and that's why I always bring my Anchor Power Bank. This one, uh, it'll charge my phone about seven times. It'll charge two devices at a time. It's got a nice little light to tell you that it's charged, and I just don't leave home without this, because uh, it's a real bummer. You're halfway through a show and your iPad runs out of power, and there's just not always seat uh, power in the seats you know a lot of times if you're in first class there's power um, but really I kind of hate leaning down into the person next to me trying to find even where to plug it in if you're in coach you're probably not going to have power uh, and it just is something that uh, it's so easy to bring one of these with you I have actually never had this run out of power on a trip even when I'm powering up a couple phones and my iPad uh, this, like I mentioned, it'll charge my phone about seven times. Even on transatlantic flights, I've never had this run out of power. So it's made by Anchor. I think you ought to check it out or something like it. They're pretty great. Now the next thing that I always bring with me, uh, this pulls double duty. Uh, so these are device cleaning wipes. Uh, they kill germs. And, you know, our devices end up in a lot of places. Uh, you know where you're taking your devices. Uh, it's just a bunch of dirty places, and airplane tray tables are filthy. Uh, so these pull double duty because I can clean the screens of my devices, clean them all around the outside, kill any of the germs on there, but also you can clean a tray table with it and kill all the germs there too. Uh, you can get these on, you know, I bought them on Amazon. You can get these a lot of places. There's several different brands. This one is iCloth and it works really well. So I always bring my device cleaning wipes and also use them to clean the surroundings because there's just, airplanes can be really filthy. The last thing I bring is for the smells. So unfortunately on airplanes, a lot of people um, pass wind, should we say? Uh, <laughs> and if it's not that, then you know, sometimes you get some people who haven't taken a shower um, it depends a lot who you get stuck next to. Um, and then a lot of people feel the need to bring very stinky food on the airplane. I don't know why they think that's a good idea, but they do. And then, you know, sometimes when the meal is served on the airplane, some of those are a little stinky too. So I always bring essential oils just in case it's an unbearable smell. Um, so this one's a eucalyptus essential oil. Um, I'll take it and I'll actually just put a little bit on my mustache right here. It makes a big difference. If you don't have a mustache, um, maybe get a stick-on mustache or one of those little glasses with a nose and mustache. Um, you can find another way. Be careful. Some essential oils can burn if you put them on your skin. So test it out first. You don't want to be on a flight realizing that you've just put something burning on your face uh, and it's hard to do something about it. 
Um, there's, I'm sure, other creative ways. If you know of an, another way besides having a mustache to get uh, the, the smells to go away, um, just uh, let me know down in the comments. That might help other people uh, with, with that. So this one's a eucalyptus. This one is a, it's called Taifu. It has a nice smell. Don't get in your eyes or anything with any of these. Be really careful about that. Um, so this one's called Taifu and it kills germs and also has a nice smell. So sometimes I'll use this one to clean my hands after I've touched tray tables and things like that. Or, you know, you get on, get on the train and at, at an airport and you're hanging onto that filthy, <laughs> filthy handle. Um, so I'll use this for that. And the great thing about Typhoo is it keeps killing germs for quite a while. About 30 minutes it'll keep killing germs while it's on your hands. So that's the fifth thing that I bring to make a flight more pleasant. Um, I hope that some of these are helpful to you and that they make flights more pleasant for you like they have for me. If you enjoyed the video, I really hope you'll click the thumbs up button. It just takes a second and it really helps me out a lot. I'm trying to build this channel and get get more people watching it and uh, I'd really want to make a lot more videos about making travel comfortable for musicians. So if you click that thumbs up, it'll show it to more people and just make this all more worthwhile uh, making these videos because they do take a little while. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, click that subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification bell and YouTube will let you know when a new video comes up. And of course, share this with your friends and uh, tell your friends about it. And let me know if there's something you'd like to see in a future video or if there's any items that you don't leave for a flight without. I'd really like to hear about them. Just put, put it down in the comments and uh, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to Musicians Travel Hacks where you can learn to make travel more fun. Is that a fridge? Huh, my room has a fridge, who knew? <laughs>